Hello guys and welcome to What Should I Build? This is episode 8 and this is an entirely new amusement park that I'm working on right now. I'm jumping up and down showing you guys the scene and what's going on. This is the entrance right here. This is where you would uh, get your tickets. This is also a shop and all. Yeah, I'll go ahead and go to the ticket area right here. And then you would wait in line for your tickets. And then you would uh, get your tickets at the cashiers right here. And then, why do I have that there? There we go, that should be better. Because then you can get out. All right. So now, once you got your ticket, what you can do is that you would just come right in here. Just like so. And th this is the uh, entrance of the park right here. This is what it looks like at an overview. And I think it's actually starting to look really nice as well. Because I have just the perfect layout for it. My uh, other amusement park that I've been working on that has Goliath, Expedition Everest, Fury 325, all that other stuff, that's probably going to, um, that world might, uh, you guys might not see much of that world anymore. I have explained this in the last episode, but this is a, um, this is Magic Kingdom, right here. And I found out that I can actually expand my world since I'm on the Xbox One version, so I started to expand it, and I, uh, started with the Polished Chariot. But, that's not what we're here for. What we are here for is to show you what you guys wanted. Now let me go ahead and show you the comments that uh, requested. All right, and so here is your haunted house. And here's the thing. It's a roller coaster. It's an indoor slash outdoor roller coaster and it's a launching coaster. And you'll guys see here in just a minute. I'll do two POVs. I'll do a uh, daytime, which is like right now. I'll do a daytime and then I'll do a nighttime. And so let me explain to you why I did this. When you step on these pressure pads, it opens up just like so, like a door. But then when you close it, you see how dark it gets in there? That's to keep um, it looking uh, dark. So if that's that's basically just to keep it. Um, uh, how can I put this in words? Um, let's keep the spooky feeling of it. Yeah, there you go. So it's bright when you go in, but then it gets dark. See what I mean? And it, and it's um actually I have a torch here. I'm thinking about taking that torch away since that's just too much light. It's too bright. But, let's go ahead and write it. So let me take this down, and then let me go ahead and take all of this off. Alright, there we go. So now you guys get a full perspective of it. it what it looks like at daytime so let's go ahead and start back at the beginning and show you what it looks like I'll go ahead and start right here and show you guys what it looks like at nighttime all right so now host uh, set night there we go all right so now it's nighttime so this is what uh the place looks like at nighttime it's all lit up it's all nice these also light up too, the frames right here. And then you enter right here. And this is what the park looks like at nighttime. Not so bright right now, simply because it's still a uh, work in progress park. But let's go ahead and write this again. There we go. Of course, it's even more darker and spooky. It's spooky. All right. Here we go.
All right. And that is it. This ride, um, this ride was a really fun ride to build. I really enjoyed building it. I'll go ahead and show you what it looks like out here. It looks, um, when you're on it, it doesn't uh, seem that impressive, but when you uh, actually look at it, I've tried to uh, make the supports as cool looking as possible, like unique, which I'm showing it to you at nighttime first, and then I'll switch to daytime. And I'm also going to uh, work on the lake as well. So let me, actually no, set day, there we go. All right, so here's what it looks like at daytime. Here's what the uh, coaster looks like. So it launches you up, and then it takes you down a corner, takes you to a little um, a hill right here, takes you up, curves you back in, and then it uh, takes you back out. You do a little bunny hop, you do a long curve, and then you do another bunny hop, and then you do a curve back to the station. I'm still, um, I'm gonna work on the exit, that's for sure. But this is just a trial and error. Everything I do is always trial and error. There's always room to uh, to progress in between. So I hope you guys enjoyed this because I actually really enjoyed building this. I liked uh, putting all the trees around. I thought it was cool and putting the spider webs in the trees and decorating it, making it look all nice. I thought it was really cool. So I hope you guys enjoyed this because I, I really did enjoy this. I thought it was really cool concept to do. Because I I've actually never done a coaster with this scheme before, black and uh, nether nether fence. I actually have though. That was on Space Mountain. That was on Space Mountain. This video is already over. I'm just filling in because I didn't do a I didn't do one uh, last Friday, so I I did two this week. So I'm basically just filling in. To uh, say I'm sorry for you guys that I didn't, but Space Mountain actually does have the same scheme. You just don't see it. I, I'll go ahead and actually show you the inside of my Space Mountain. I think that would be really cool that you guys would like to see. So let's go ahead, travel all the way to Space Mountain. And if you guys want a tour of my Magic Kingdom, you guys can go ahead and ask for it I'll give it I'll be I'll be more than glad to uh, give you guys a tour Hold on, what am I looking for where is it uh, there it is night vision all right so now you guys get out to see And let me. <laughs> I can hardly play like this. Hold on. Come on, game. Game options. No, no, no. User interference. Interface, I meant. Alright. There we go. Come in here. And then here's the inside of Space Mountain. So it uses the same scheme, you just don't actually see it like this. Which back then, this was my favorite ride that I've ever built. It really was. It was my absolute favorite ride. I built it twice. That's how favorite, that's how my, oh, whoa, whoa. You see how there isn't stuff down here? The, uh, the nether fence. Oh well, it's fine. Yeah, it's fine. But yeah, this ride was my absolute favorite ride. Actually, you know what? Let's do a POV of it. Because it's almost like lights on, you know? So let me go ahead and go do the start. Oh yeah, and let me show you what this looks like. This is what it looks like right here. I built a little window right here. Stuff all down. Wow, that actually looks really cool. Look 
Look at that. That's so cool. Huh. Alright, well, let's go ahead and do a POV of it. Keep in mind, I have not updated this ride for such a long time. Because it just hasn't, it just never needed to be updated. It's just so good. I love it. And for those of you that are asking, why are there buttons everywhere? Those are supposed to be stars, okay? Th those are stars. And the great thing about this ride is that I don't have to lean at all. I just have to sit back and relax. So I can just sit here and talk. I can take a drink of water, you know? I should probably like do a a video of how I build my uh, rides that you guys can't really see. You know, like uh, this ride right here, Space Mountain. You guys don't really see this that well. This was also one of my original videos. Whoa! That's bright. <laughs> and then you slowly go back into the station. And you get a diamond. Then you exit out right here. I don't know why I put those there. Those don't look good there. But yeah, that's Space Mountain. A long time ago, you can actually see the original wool. Look, behind the iron, it's gray wool. Now you see black wool, of course, that's the inside, but a long time ago, whenever I first started building Magic Kingdom, this huge place was about five years ago, or four or five years ago, and I built Space Mountain with gray wool, yes, and then I went through multiple updates after updates after updates after updates of Minecraft and on my Disney maps that I've just updated this so much that I really love it. I really do. I know it's it doesn't look accurate at all, but that's not the point. It's just the legacy that this thing's had. You know, let me show you guys what it looks like from above. It's an oval. It's an oval, guys. Space Mountain's supposed to be a circle. <laughs> you see what I'm this thing has been through so much but yet I still love it which I built a better version or should I say a new updated version of it that's more accurate on a different world that's actually not an oval and it's a circle but I've been rambling on for too long I would love to show you guys this whole park and that's Buzz Lightyear right there. You see all that colors right here? That's Buzz Lightyear. But yeah, I would love to show you guys my park. So if you guys want me to tour my park, I, I would absolutely love to. I would really love to tour my park for you guys. So thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next video of what should I build or probably some other video you know probably a tutorial of how to build something you know but yeah and before I go I actually since you guys been here if you have been watching this video this long then you guys then you obviously deserve to see this hold on how long did my night vision last two more minutes Oh, how can I stall this time? Because there's a new fireworks show, actually, at my Disney castle. You know what? We'll probably save it for some other time. So, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.